What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is that time yet again. We have another mail call. Check out the amount of packages we have. We got one from Osvaldo from Need for Diecast. We have one from Scott. We have one from CC Studios. I have no idea what's in that one. He did win the giveaway and he did receive the package. So everyone who participated and of course the four winners, huge congrats to all of you. And then of course we have a special one right down here from King Nut. Hey. And the last one is from Simple Man Mustang Diecast. We're doing a trade, so I can't wait to go through these guys. We're probably not gonna get through all of them. So let's go ahead and start out with the one from Osvaldo and see what's inside. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what we have. Ooh, Dotson Bluebird Wagon. There we go, another main line for the collection. And these are just awesome ones. Of course, the Super is in pink, but I think if they would have gone with this beautiful pearlescent color, it would have looked so much cooler. But at the same time, we have another one in the collection, followed up by the Porsche 935. Here we go. We do have a couple of these. We've seen one on the track driven by Honest Diecast. But here we go. Another one out of the Hot Wheels Exotic Series. These are both international. So that is actually pretty sweet. Then we have some mystery models. Here we go. First one. Oh, there it is. Nice, 71 Dotson right here. This is the number one mystery model from the three that were released out of this series, which is wave number three, I believe it is. Check that out. We already have the Subaru STI and the Porsche 356. And now we have the 510. Look at that gorgeous copper metallic with the J5s. And of course, it's got some mud splatter, some checker flags. Love the white roof on that one. Dude, that is sweet. Awesome, dude. Thank you so much for that. Let's see. Followed up. I think he threw all three. Yep, here we go. Subaru WRX. This is definitely another one that I think they did a phenomenal job with. Actually, I think the top three look amazing. So another one for the collection. And it looks like this might be the Porsche. Yep, there we go nice more the merrier man that is just a gorgeous casting sweet so here we go man one two and three for the collection from my man and here we go from nascar guy uh oh check that out dale jarrett man oh it's the air force release look at that dude that is sick man it's got the thunderbird on the hood and of course the card itself look at that U.S. Air Force, my man, dude, that is sweet. Oh, that is sweet. Dale Jarrett, man, number 88. This is freaking awesome. So this is the 2004 Taurus, number 88 quality care. Of course, it's the Armed Forces, and it's one of 19,368. Dude, that is sweet, man. NASCAR guy, thank you so much for that. Love Air Force or any type of military themed release. I think that is super cool. But tying in Dale Jarrett, NASCAR, and the Air Force in one casting, that is sweet. So a huge thanks to us, Valdo, my man, over that need for die cast. We've got the Porsche 935 Dotson Wagon. Of course, both international. We have the three mystery models for 2023. So again, Osvaldo, thank you so much for that. We're gonna go ahead and set these off to the side. These do have the stickers in it, so I don't wanna throw those out. And let's go ahead and jump into the one from Scott. All right, now I know he said there are some customs in here that really need to be under some light. So I am using my light attachment to my phone. So let's see, what do we have in here? All right, we got the Red Edition DeLorean, which we already know we got, but of course, it is always good to have another one just in case anyone else needs one. I have one as an extra, but still, Red Edition DMC DeLorean, such a beauty. There we go. Looks like these are some customs. And this one says to open last. All right, let's go ahead and follow the rules on this one. Oh, there we go. All right, and that looks like everything. We'll go ahead and save these little air pillows. Put these off to the side. A first custom, let's see, it's in the Mach-E box, but I'm not sure if it's a Mach-E. 
Oh, check that out. Dude, that is wicked. It is a Mach-E, look at that. Oh man, that is crazy looking. Love the purple metallic and the neon green. That just screams Joker, man. Look at that, that is wild. And he chopped off the huge wing that comes on the Mach-E. Look at that, man, that is well done right there. God, that looks super cool. Look at that, man. The lime green just really pops on this casting, especially with that purple. God, he even did the interior, man. That is sweet. Wow. It actually looks good without that huge spoiler on it. Now, if you compare it, let's see, this is the casting he used. So he took out that huge high mount, almost a chassis mounted wing. And there you go. Look at that, it just cleans it up, man. Wow, that looks nice. That looks good. Love it, dude. Just really captures your eye. Next up, it looks like this is a 65. You guys know the 65 is a heavy hitter in my collection. All right, let's see, what do we, oh my God, that color. Oh my God, that color is gorgeous. Oh man, that is beautiful. It just does not do any justice on the camera, man. Look at that, let me turn the brightness of the light on. Oh, look at that. Such a gorgeous green, man. And I love that you threw the gold MC5s. Look at that bright cherry tail lights. You got some interior work as well. Dude, and it is very hard to see, but it actually color shifts. Let's see if I can get this thing to change color. It is wicked, man. Like, it's hard to even capture. Hold on. Probably needs like a specific. Oh, there we go. Look at that, guys. Beautiful freaking paint right there. God, it goes from like a brown copper, almost a gray into the green. Look at that. Wow. Wow, dude. Oh, that color shift is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I was able to capture that for you guys. Oh, it just needs the right light because if you come over here. Oh, wait. There it is right there. Man, that is nice. But if I use the phone light, it doesn't shift. So I have to use the fluorescent lights to even give a little hint to that color shift. Man, that is beautiful. Dude, that is a gorgeous 65, man. Last one, let's see, what do we have in this? All right, you guys ready? Oh, there we go. Look at that reverse stripe work. Look at that 2010 Mustang GT in a beautiful blue metallic. You got some white walls. And of course, I love how you did the reverse stripe on that. That's actually super unique. Got the lime green fog lights, the running pony. Yeah, blue metallic stripes with the accents of a raw metal finish. That is unique, man. I am digging that. Look at that color. Look at the way it just captures the metal flake. God, that is sweet. That is a beauty. You guys let me know which one is your favorite. Oh my gosh, that purple and lime green just really captures the eye. But this color, look at that from here, guys. That is just wow. That is beautiful, man. Three, not one, not two, but three beautiful Mustangs and their customs added to the collection. You guys know I do have a display of Mustang customs that are sent in. We don't have any room. I might move some out because I think there's one or two that I did. I can just take those out of the case and put these beauties in there. So dude, Scott, thank you so much for the time and effort you put into your customs. And I just love how you shave wings just in a most flawless way. Like you can never tell that this even had a chassis mounted wing. 
That is just amazing work right there. Thank you so much, man. Let's go ahead and move on to this one. This is actually from CC Studios. I don't know what's in the box because I wasn't expecting anything. I sent him his giveaway win and then we got this one back. It looks like it's the same exact box that I sent. So I don't know what he has in here. So let's go ahead and open it up because I don't know what to expect. Oh, nice little jammer, man. Check this out. All right, what does this say? CC Studios Diecast. Oh, there you go. Follow him on TikTok. YouTube, of course, CC Studios Diecast. Oh, look at that, man. ZR1. That's a pretty cool sketch right there. Oh, that is sweet artwork right there. Uh-oh, we got some racers. I already saw it said for the track. Oh, dude, check this out. I think this one is for the track. Dude, I have never seen this. Look how gorgeous that is. I've never seen the gold version of this, but here we go, 1970 Mach 1 with lace wheels. This is going to be an awesome contender for the track. Look at that, man, that is beautiful. Wow, all right, so there we go. CC Studios is gonna be in the 1970 Mach 1. And then I'm not sure if these are just for the collection, but here we go, the 2015 S550. I do actually have one of these carded. Um, and it is right there. It's from the All-Star series from Maisto. So there we go. And then followed up by this one. I've never seen this version before, but it looks like a 1314 Mustang GT. There we go. It's got the Sheriff livery, Unit 938, and it looks like a Majorette. Yep, there we go. Oh, it's the Ford Mustang Boss. I guess I should have known by the hood. Dude, that is sweet. I've never seen this one either. That is awesome. Followed up by this beast. Look at that. Oh man, it looks like it came apart. Oh no, might have to fix this. I think this was the one that he put in our car show. Oh dude, yeah, we gotta fix that. That is a crazy build. Next up, we have the Zamac version of the Boss Laguna Seca. There we go. That is awesome stuff right there. Ooh, we got some headlight and fog light detail. Definitely dig that. Oh, and my man did the tail lights too. Nice. There we go. Nice Zamac right there. And then the last one is the colored version of the Boss Laguna Seca. There we go. That is sweet. Oh, nice. Nicely done. I love when people add their touches to a mainline casting because it just makes it that much better. You know, like adding some tail lights, some headlight detail really changes the casting. So dude, thank you so much for these. And of course, sending in a racer. Dude, I'm stoked. And this, this is cool. I don't even know where you found this. But uh, let me know if you want this back. I can actually send this back to you if you want. Last one right here. What is this? Oh, nice. We have the 2003 first edition Bugatti. Nice, this is collector number 30 out of 2003's release. Beautiful red. This is a very popular version of the release in red and black. And I do actually have one or two of them and one of them actually has a huge tampo error for the front. So another one for the collection, definitely an awesome one. And of course, it's a Bugatti. Who doesn't like the Bugattis? Beautiful stuff from CC Studios, dude. Thank you so much. But I am just stoked to have you on the track, man. That is exciting because I know you guys are wondering what King Nut sent and what he sent is for the track. But we're gonna have to save that for another episode because that's gonna be a special piece on its own. So let's go ahead and wrap up this episode with the box from Simple Man and see what we traded. All right, here we go. Box is open. Looks like there's a letter inside. Jason, thank you for the trade. Yep, I have included some racers for Ruby Raceway. Awesome, awesome stuff. And maybe some other extras. I appreciate your friendship. Thank you for your service. Steve, Simple Man Mustang Diecast. My dude, we all know he is off of the tower, which is so sad to see. 
his car is on the trailer, but he threw in some racers, so he is not done yet. Let's see what we have. Oh man, here we go, guys. First bundle, but this is part of the trade. Check this out. It's the Ferrari FXXK out of the Barago release. Dude, that is awesome, man. Dude, our target has not seen these. That is just wild, man. Look at that. This is a 143 scale. That is a gorgeous Ferrari, man. Race and play. Yes, definitely. Oh, that is a solid casting in person. It looks cool on pictures, but man, when you see it in person, this is a very cool Ferrari, man. All right. Ooh, check this out for your little one. My man, dude, you did not have to. Oh, she's going to be excited. Look at this. 100 years of Disney, and of course, you have Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> oh, dude. Thank you so much for thinking of the little one, man. Yeah, she's going to love that. Uh-oh. I am back with another alien. Racer number one. If you guys don't remember, he was in the red alien car. Just dominating for the longest time. And he is back. This is a newer version. He got the three spokes, metal on metal. That is a solid car to send in, man. That is going to be a solid car. So racer number one, and then racer number two. Check that out, man. Hopefully, but we shall see. Faster than ever. Yeah, yeah definitely. But we all know that Gary Redmond's 05 Mustang was fitted with the FTEs, and he was on top for the longest time. So I don't know. This thing might take the top. It's a Dodge Viper for one, but it also has the nickel plated axles with the FTE wheel. So this is his second racer. Dude, these are some beasts right there, man. And it looks like number three racer. He sent the GT500 out of the Ultra Hot series. Nice. I think that'll do well too. But man, that alien car, his first one was really, really fast. So... We have some really good contenders. Oh my God, did he send another one? <laughs> Let's, oh, look at that. Racer number four. Let's see, yep. Best for track, definitely gotta see if it is. It would be our first ever gasser on the track, 55 Chevy Bel Air. Nice. Like I said, the box from King Nut is a very special piece pertaining to the track. Let's get into the bundle right here. So the Ferrari and I believe these are part of the trade and I am excited because I definitely needed these for the collection. And here we go. Look at this, man. You have the Peanuts release of the Bone Shaker. Look at that, man. You got Charlie Brown. Of course, he missed the football like he always did. This is the open top version of the Bone Shaker. Very, very cool, man. Did not have this one. I Oh, man. That card art. I don't know. I don't know if I want to open it, but all my bone shakers are open. So there is this one. We have the 2007 GT500, which I did not have carded, surprisingly. So this is a 2008 new model, and this was one I never had carded. I do have a couple loose ones. Um, I do have one with the wheel swap. I do have this one right here. It's a little rough. The axles are rusted, but I never had one on card, and we finally do. Look at that, man. Beautiful. Thank you for that one. Then check these out, guys. Three other bone shakers I had not seen or found to add to the collection. This is the closed roof version. Love the yellow and the flames with the skull. This is just a super cool one. Man, this is a Forza Motorsport release. So this was a 2015-2016 out of the Daredevils. Look at that. That is awesome. And then of course, followed up by the red bone shaker, which has the number 68 on the side. There we go, another close top version, black steelies. Oh, this is a 2018 release, there we go. This is the Legends of Speed. Love it. And last one, this was another one I had never seen before in this color. You have the orange number six, open top version. This is out of the Hot Wheels Hot Rods from 2010. Look at that. Card art has the closed top, but the car itself is an open top. Ooh, I got to check on that. And this is before 
the retooling where it had a metal base, single post, and the bumper was actually held together with the body. Oh, dude, that is awesome, man. So if you guys want to see, I know you guys are curious on which bone shakers I actually do have in the collection. A lot of you who have been around for a while know that I have a pretty good collection. Not crazy, but pretty good. Um, I mean, I have all kinds of releases. Got the fender variations, wheel swap, because I thought the blue looked bad, so I did a wheel swap on that one. Mystery model, you got the treasure hunt, open top. You have the premium release. This one was a super cool one. Look at that, detail is on point. Three base variations, we have the anniversary, we have a purple one, just some really cool exclusive. I think this is a Walgreens exclusive. Um, this one came with the skateboard. These are two of Big Daddy's customs right there. And then you can see this is the orange version of the gold, so it's a color swing. And on this side, we have even more. Um, some first editions, you have wheel variations of these. Um, you have the big, huge black wall version. I think that one's a super cool one. And then there's the blue of the orange that we just got. Target red edition, I believe that one is. Um, we have the blue 68. We didn't have the red one. Did a body swap on this one. So this one has the brown motor and the different sized and colored wheels. And it's supposed to be this one, but I actually swapped the base with one of them. I can't remember which one I swapped the base with, but all the bone shakers, four more added to the collection, which I did not have. We have this closed top version. I just picked up an open top of the exact same livery. So I'm excited, man. Always excited to grow the bone shakers. They're probably one of my favorite um, hot rod fantasy cars. And of course, a lot of other people collect them as well. King Nut was a huge collector of the Bone Shaker. But there we go. Nice stuff right there, man. So this right here, these cars, and that was part of the trade. This is extra. Um, just packing so that I don't create a mess. <laughs> nice. Thank you. That is actually pretty genius. Oh, here we go. Number five. Number five, let's put that claim to the test on Ruby Raceway. He sent a 65 2 plus 2. There we go. Beautiful. So five racers. My man is definitely building up his arsenal of racers. Ooh, and here we go. We have a goodie bag. Let's see. What does this say? Not part of our trade, just some extras as an additional thank you. Dude, you did not have to, man. Right, here we go. Another mystery model. Uh-oh, which one is this? This one is number three, so this is the Porsche 356. I will actually keep this in the package just in case anyone I know needs it. I mean, I have two of them. I don't need a third, so I will actually set this off to the side. Here we go. Got the Mach-E from Matchbox in the little grab box. There we go. Nice. Keep that one in there. I do have the gray one right there. That was actually a card release. And this is the box release, so that is sweet. We have some NASCAR, but of course we have the Porsche. Here we go. Beautiful Cabriolet, man. I don't think I have the green one of this. Maybe I do. I don't know. But I do miss seeing these. Um, our Fleet Farm actually still sells these. Next up is 1999's release of the Napa Auto Parts. Check that out. So November 21st, 1999, the Napa 500, last race of the century, one of 38,000. That, su that is super cool, man. Love stuff like this. I mean, you don't really see stuff still in the original box like that, especially when it comes to NASCAR. And of course, finishing up with two serial cars. Here we go. We have the Kellogg's k Essentials. And this is Terry Labonte's number five. Oh, I definitely don't have this one in the collection. This is the Chevy Monte Carlo. Look at that, man. That is super cool. Got Tony the Tiger and Toucan Sam. Very cool. What, re what year was this released in? Uh, 1999. And then last one is Corn Flakes. Look at that, man. Another Terry Labonte right there. Number five, the classic Corn Flakes car. Oh, that is sweet. Collector's Edition from Racing Champions. 
This one is a 1993 release. And 30 years ago, this thing is still in the package. Look at that. And it's actually in really good shape considering the age. Steve, man, you did not have to throw these extras, but of course, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And a huge, huge thanks for thinking of my little one. She's going to love this. And of course, the trade. My man, we got four new Bone Shaker added to the collection. We finally have the carded version of the white and blue 2007 Shelby. We have the Ferrari FXXK out of Barago. And then, of course, my man sent five racers for the track. Five of them. My man is ready. And then, of course, from CC Studios, we have the 1970 Mach 1 in gold. I want to look that up because I've never seen that color variation. Of course, the extra loose Mustangs, the Boss Laguna Seca Zamac, and the standard release with some majorettes and the custom from our car show. And then, of course, we have the 2003 Bugatti First Edition. And then from Osvaldo, we have the three mystery models. We have the two international release on card. And then from NASCAR Guy, we got Dale Jarrett's number 88 Air Force release. Man, that is sweet. But, of course, Scott, man, three beautiful customs and the DMC DeLorean Red Edition for 2023. Just look at that, man. You guys are just absolutely amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. And of course, the trade with Steve, that is awesome. Scott, I'm sending out your custom. I finished that one up. We still have this box, but we're gonna save this for another episode because this is a special piece and I'm excited to showcase it to you guys. So stay tuned for that. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content or what's in the box. And of course, give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below your thoughts on anything we showcased in this episode. And of course, until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.